I'm Neil Fitzgibbon and welcome to the Online Academy of Irish Music. Today I'm going to be teaching you the humours of Glendart Jig, which is a nice bouncy jig in D major. We're going to be incorporating some cuts and slides in there for our own invitation, so keep your ears and eyes open for that one. Here's the tune as I'd played around twice. Okay, now you've heard the tune all together, we're going to break it down into its phrases. Here's the first phrase of the first part of the humours of Glendart. After two, all together. One, two. Try that one more time. Starting on the B, on the downbeat. After two, one, two. And the second phrase starts exactly the same as the first. After two, one, two. Okay, and one more time. One, two. Put those two phrases together, gives us the very first line of the tune. After two, one, two. Okay, that A leads us into the next phrase, which is the exact same as the very first phrase of the tune. That's great, so we know that. Here we go on to third phrase of the first part. One, two. No real need to repeat that one. So here's the last phrase of the first part, starting on the high D, coming down the scale, coming about half ways down the scale to get to our last finishing phrase. Okay, on two, one, two. And one more time from the high D, one, two. Okay, so here's the whole first part together. I'm going to play it with the repeat this time. So on two, we're going to play the first part twice around. Down bow on the B. On two. One, two.
Okay, now that we've played through the first part all together, we're going to incorporate some cuts into the first part for ornamentation. So on my first note on the B, I'm going to cut across from a C to the B for the first note of the tune. Okay, we'll try that slowly. I can also do that when it comes up in the next phrase on the B as well. Also going to do some cuts on the Fs, on the F sharps, second finger on the D string. So when we get to, say, halfway through our first phrase, I'm going to do a cut across the F with the G, so second finger, cutting across it to the third finger to do that cut on the F note. So when we put the cut on the B and the F in the first phrase, it sounds like this. One, two. And if I keep that technique going across the B and the F for the, for the second phrase, for the rest of the first part of the first line of the tune, it sounds like this. One, two. Here's the first line with the cuts on the B's and the F's. After two. One, two. We continue that then for the second line or the or the second half of the first of the first part. Here is across the B after two. One, two. And here's the first part with the cuts across those B's and F's. I'm not going to replay the repeat this time. After two. One, two. Okay, we're moving on to the second part of the jig, the humours of Glen Dart. That's the high part. Starting on the high D. We're going to be, I'm going to use quite a lot of slides in the second part on the F note. Almost every time I go to the F note, I'm going to slide into it from the E before it. So here's the first phrase of the second part. One two and we'll do that a second time one two here's the second phrase of the second part one more time don't forget to slide into the high f from the e string one, two. So here's the first line of the second part, our third full line of the tune, coming in after two, and we're going to slide into all of those high Fs. One, two. One more 
time. The first line of the second part. After two. One, two. Okay, so we're on to the very last line of the tune, and here's the first phrase of the fourth line. It's very similar to the very start of the second tune. Lovely repetition there. Okay, on to one, two. Okay, one more time. One, two. And now our last phrase of the tune, which is comfortably the last phrase of the first part of the tune. So we've got some great repetition in the humours of Glendart. We're coming down the scale from the high D to finish off the tune. On two. One, two. And again, one, two. Okay, I'm going to play the second part around for you now, twice round, including the repeat. Don't forget to slide into the high Fs. Here we go, on to one, two. Okay, now we've learned the first and second part of the tune and we've worked on our cuts on the B's and the F's in the first part and our slides up into the high F's in the second part. I'm going to play the tune around twice now, including our repeats with our cuts in the first part and slides in the second. All together, after two. One, two. <laughs> 